Hello YouTube! Welcome back to my channel and if you are new then I want to say hello directly to you. Today we're going to be making this cool little fancy wand out of a paintbrush. Okay guys, things you'll need. Paint brushes, paint, a hot glue gun, and scissors. And if you're feeling spontaneous today, why not use some glass beads? The first thing you're going to need is just an ordinary paintbrush. I had this paintbrush for a very long time and I was about to throw it away. But then I decided to make a cool wand out of it. Next, grab your scissors and let's get started. Using your scissors, we're going to cut the bristles of the brush as close as we can to the metal part without damaging the metal or your scissors. And definitely make sure you clean up after yourself. Hold your paintbrush as if you're holding a wand and hold it where the bristles that you just cut off are and use your hot glue gun to measure out how big you want the handle to be. This is what you should have so far and now grab the little shaft there. Yes guys, I said shaft. Get your minds out of the gutter. Alright guys, it is time for the hot glue. Please be careful with the hot glue. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Um, in this process, I used the tip of the hot glue gun to smooth out the glue while I was applying it. And it worked out pretty good. It made it as smooth as I think I possibly could get it. And when you get to the end of the paintbrush, you want to put globs of glue. You want that end to be thick. So I know guys, once you finish the handle and you're working on the base and I told you to make it thicker, it does look inappropriate and I'm sorry I didn't mean for that, that wasn't my intention to do that, but once it gets painted and everything, it's going to look really good. You should have something similar to this and I'm just smoothing out the edge because it was bothering me. If your glue is fogging up, don't worry, it just means that it's dry. I decided that I wanted texture to my wand so I started to make vines on it. If you don't want vines, you can simply just skip forward and start painting. Um, the paint usually took a few minutes to dry, maybe about 10 minutes on each coat and I did about 3 coats. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a wizard. Well, not not really, but you know, it, it's still pretty cool. Finally, the gluing is over and it's time to paint. Alright guys, we're almost done. It's time to paint, so grab everything you need and let's get started. I'm going to sum this up for you guys because I know you guys know how to paint already but I'm just using a light gray. I mixed white and gray together and I'm using that at the base of my handle. The handle itself will be just regular gray and then the top will also be like the whitish gray again.
now you have a choice if you want to keep it like this or if you want to make it a little bit more realistic by dry brushing. I'm dry brushing just regular black on and I'm also going to be adding like a tannish color to give it more effect. Alright guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Because, you know, because we're awesome here. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.